Hello YouTube, Bruno Luce here with GLB Productions. Today bringing you this quick review of the Galleon Kruger Diesel Dog Bass Distortion Pedal. Now, I've had this pedal for a long time, probably about 10 years, and I recently put it on the market. Before I sell the pedal, I thought I'd do a quick review for you, my lovely viewers. Now, the Galleon Kruger Diesel Dog is based on the overdrive circuit in the GK1001RB head. So it's designed as a bass distortion rather than an overdrive pedal. And as you'll hear, it's used for producing edgier sounds. So my setup today is my American Standard Precision Bass, volume and tone wide open, run into the pedal on the right side here, the output of the pedal is connected to my Mackie 802 VLZ4. The pedal is run into the line input but with the high Z switch engaged. The EQ on the Mackie is flat and the output of the Mackie is run directly into the video camera. So to begin with, let's let you hear the basic sound of the bass. And next, let's engage the pedal. So you'll hear as soon as I engage the pedal, there is noise. This is typical of high gain circuits. And the basic tone of the pedal is as follows. So you can hear that the pedal itself is biased more towards the high end. And this is a fairly typical criticism of, of people on the internet. So before we get into the different tones that the pedal can produce, I'll just show you a little bit of the EQ. To my ear, the bottom and treble controls do relatively little and the mid-range does a lot. So I'll just hold an open A and then I'll play so. To my ear, when you boost that, it does almost nothing. And when you cut it, you only get some cut right around the bottom. Now the middle. And finally the edge. So what I tend to do is I boost the bottom a little bit and I cut both the middle and edge controls so that gives you this sort of sound the pedal is capable of producing a less distorted tone if you bring the gain down to about 10 and the volume up to about 2 you get this sort of sound What's interesting is that if you play that with a pick, it brightens up again. So here you go with a pick now. You can continue going down on the gain control and up on the volume control to give you um, a kind of overdriven sound. Compared to the flat, So you can hear that that's very similar to the flat tone with the exception of the noise from the overdrive circuit. Once you go above 12 o'clock on the gain control, it gets hairy quick. So if you listen here, we'll go to 2 o'clock. This is where this pedal really seems to enjoy being. It kind of wants to get really grunchy and raunchy and in your face, so... <laughs> if 
If you play that with a pick, predictably, it goes quite over the top. Okay, uh, keep going. And, you know, it just keeps getting all the way. monster uh, when you get to the the higher setting here you can play power chords very effectively <laughs> okay <laughs> and um What's interesting about this pedal is that it does that quite convincingly and I, I have a feeling that it would work pretty well on guitar as well. So that's the Galleon Kruger Diesel Dog Bass Distortion Pedal. Uh, this is Bruno Luce for GLB Productions. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.